mensuration in latin mensuration means measurement hence mensuration is defined as study of geometrical quantities area perimeter volume etc in terms of numbers introduction in our daily life we see buns on all the four sides of a field compound walls around our house boundary stones on the four corners of an open area or fencing on all four sides a by having buns around the four sides of a field we understand that the area inside those buns belong to a person b similarly the boundaries of a house and open lands indicate the boundaries of the properties of a particular person also the fencing and compound walls help in restricting unauthorized entry to outsiders isn't it in the above mentioned situations we have used the words like around the field and on all four sides of an open land to find the perimeters of different simple closed figures let us find the perimeter of a triangle we know that the adjacent triangle abc is a simple closed figure from the above activity we can determine that the perimeter of a triangle is equal to the sum of lengths of three sides therefore perimeter of angle abc is equal to ab bar plus bc bar plus ac bar let us find the perimeter of a rectangle length itself is the perimeter of the rectangle abcd therefore perimeter of the rectangle abcd is equal to ab bar plus bc bar plus cd bar plus da bar is equal to ab bar plus bc bar plus ab bar plus bc bar is equal to 2ab plus 2bc is equal to 2 into ab plus bc since ab bar bc bar are adjacent sides perimeter of a rectangle is equal to twice the sum of the length of the adjacent sides perimeter of a regular polygon if the measurements of the sides and angles of a closed figure are equal then the polygon is called a regular polygon example square equilateral triangle etc perimeter of a square in the adjacent figure a b c d is a square perimeter of a square a b c d is equal to a b bar plus b c bar plus c d bar plus d a bar is equal to 2 units plus 2 units plus 2 units plus 2 units is equal to 4 into 2 units is equal to 8 units therefore perimeter of a b c d is equal to side plus side plus side plus side is equal to 4 into side perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into side if the side of a square is yes then perimeter of a square is 4 into s perimeter of an equilateral triangle in the adjacent figure PQR is an equilateral triangle perimeter of triangle PQR is equal to side PQ plus side QR plus side RP is equal to 4 centimeter plus 4 centimeter plus 4 centimeter is equal to 3 into 4 centimeter is equal to 12 centimeter perimeter of an equilateral triangle is equal to side plus side plus side equal to 3 into side perimeter of an equilateral triangle is 3 into side irregular polygons perimeter 
the simple enclosed figures formed by the line segments of unequal lengths are called irregular polygons. Perimeter of an irregular pentagon. The adjacent figure A, B, C, D, E is an irregular pentagon. Perimeter is equal to sum of the lengths of the sides of the pentagon A, B, C, D, E is equal to A, B bar plus B, C plus C, D bar plus D, E bar plus E, A. Perimeter of a hexagon. A closed figure formed with six sides is called a hexagon. The adjacent figure G, H, I, J, K, L is a hexagon. Perimeter is equal to G, H bar plus H, I bar plus I, J bar plus J, K bar plus K, L bar plus L, Z bar. Let us find the perimeters of the following figures. Perimeter is equal to 4 cm plus 5 cm plus 3 cm is equal to 4 plus 5 plus 3 is equal to 12 cm. B. Perimeter is equal to 4 cm plus 4 cm plus 4 cm is equal to 3 into 4 cm is equal to 12 cm. C. Perimeter is equal to 3 cm plus 4.5 cm plus 4.5 cm is equal to 3 plus 4.5 plus 4.5 is equal to 12 cm. Perimeter is equal to 3 cm plus 5.5 cm plus 3.5 cm is equal to 3 plus 5.5 plus 3.5 cm is equal to 12 cm. Area Introduction the space occupied by a closed figure is called its area. Units of area. The space occupied by a square with side 1 mm is called 1 square millimeter. Similarly, the space occupied by a square with side 1 cm is called 1 square centimeter. And the space occupied by a square with side 1 decimeter is called 1 square decimeter. In short, the space occupied by a square with side one standard unit is represented by that square unit. Area of a rectangle. Area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth. Let area of rectangle is equal to A, length is equal to L and breadth is equal to B. Then A is equal to L into B. From A is equal to L into B, we understand that length of rectangle L is equal to A by B is equal to area of rectangle by breadth of rectangle. Breadth of rectangle B is equal to A by L is equal to area of rectangle by length of rectangle. Area of a square Earlier, we have noticed that if the length and breadth of a rectangle are equal, then the plane figure formed is a square. Therefore, area of square is equal to side into side is equal to side square. Let area of square is equal to A, length of side is equal to S. Then A is equal to S into S is equal to S square. Conversion of Units of area. We know that units of area are square units. Example, convert the following units of area into square meters. 1. 230 square centimeters. 2. 67,500 square centimeters. 3. 83,250 square centimeters. Note, square meter is also denoted by m to the power of 2 and square centimeter by cm to the power of 2. Solution. 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter. 1 centimeter is equal to 1 by 100 meters. 1 square centimeter is equal to 1 centimeter into 1 centimeter is equal to 1 by 100 meter into 1 by 100 meter is equal to 1 by 1000 square meter. 
230 square centimeter is equal to 230 into 1 by 10,000 square meter is equal to 0.023 square meter. 2. 67,500 square centimeter is equal to 67,500 into 1 by 10,000 square meter is equal to 6.75 square meter. 83,250 square centimeter plus 83,000 250 into 1 by 10,000 square meter is equal to 8.325 square meter.